Let's go. So we are here talking about our next bob or block on board die. This is the churn dash. Mm -hmm. I have the big one. And I have the smaller one. And this comes in a 9 inch finished square or a 12 inch finished square. So with the 9 inch, you can cut with four layers of fabric. You can cut one full block in one pass. And with the 12 inch, you can cut with four layers, two full blocks in one pass. That goes really fast. Yeah. And this is the quilt that I did. I love the modern colors. I just can't believe I'm getting modern, but I really like them. And when I selected them, I thought, how is that gonna go together? But I enjoyed it. But I have a confession to make. I wasn't very excited about doing the churn dash. I thought, I've been doing the churn dash since the early 80s. I can just sit and whip this out and sew it up. But when I used this die, I fell in love with it because it went so fast. Every piece matches perfectly. And it was just, it was so relaxing and quick. And I, I was, I go, oh, you know what? This is it. I love it. Yeah, I think it's great, and it's a great beginner block, but it there's is. also so many possibilities for all it, quilters. It is. You can set it straight with lattice and cornerstones, or you can put it on point, or you could do fussy cuts. Ooh. I'm going to show you how to do a fussy cut. All right. So I took my die, and with a, a marker, a permanent marker, I just drew an X on the center patch. This is gonna go right in the middle. All right. And I selected a fabric that I thought would make a really great fussy cut. So you have to make sure you have to know what your area is and see if you can get your center on the center right here. So okay. this is what I want you to do. I'm gonna have you fold, press in an X. Okay. okay, fold one way right through the center and press it and then open it up and then fold the other way right through the centers. We've got those little centers of those flowers that that'll be just a great guideline for you. Okay? Right. Okay. That's right. your job. I will do that. There you go. Okay. So then we have the die for the rest of it, not including that center. So I just did some rough cutting. I cut my pieces of fabric a little bit larger, a half inch larger than the outside image. That's all that I do to figure out how to rough cut. And I cut um, uh, two different colors and a background. Wow, were you fast. I didn't even get this done. <laughs> so I have the background, putting it right sides together to the turquoise and the same thing the background right sides together with the orange. And so I'm just gonna check. So let's see, where's the, ooh, this is the way the grain is going, huh? So let's just see if we can do a little bit of switch. How's that? If you put that right through the die, right. like that, and let's move this down so we can get that. It's gonna be a little, little thick right there, but I think you can do it. So we're just gonna take this X, you did a good job, put a pin right in the very center on what you see is the uh, middle, mm -hmm. and then just fold it back with your pin, just move it around until you're right over top of it. And then you can take the X's and just follow them out on the fussy cut. Ooh, I think that is, that looks really good. Okay, now, this is your challenge. Do you have your mat? I do, it's right here. All right, thank you. One pass, we've got it off. All right. So I just wanted to show you this little nine block quilt while she's cutting that for me, because this is the negative and the positive. I just set it together without lattice, and it really was smooth to do it. Love those colors and just a binding around the outside. Okay, got it? Yes. Oh, now I'm anxious to see our fussy cut. So I'm just trying to slide. We got a little... Oops. 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 We have oops, oops. A lot of static, but that's okay. We'll be able to get it back together. All right. Just the fussy cut, that's what's important. Let's take a look. Okay, there's your 
Ooh, that looks really oh, great. Oh, look how cute. Isn't that cute? We probably could have cut it on point, huh? I wasn't even thinking. But it's in the center. It works really good. Okay, okay so Sweet. now the reason that I wanted to have these cut right sides together is so that I didn't even have to reorganize them. Because if you just pick up the top two, they're already right sides together. And could I have all four of um, the turquoise and gray? Okay, because this is one that you can just sew continuously. People talk about quilting continuously, but if you can sew continuously in one big sweep, using a quarter inch seam, I've got my quarter inch foot on. I do have a single hole throat plate um, on my machine so that the little corners don't get eaten. Okay, so this is number three and number four. Number and four. will you line up those edges for me? Yes. All right. So these are all the middle pieces. Can you believe how fast this can go? This is why I, I really enjoy doing it. Okay, now, again, keep your dark on the top. We're gonna set the seam with the dark on the top. And the reason that I like these rectangles first is that you can use that as a jumper scrap. And then you can just join them together and your little um, ends don't go right down into your machine. And one more. Oh my goodness, what am I thinking? One more, we've got four more. Sometimes I wish that he would time me, Lynn, just to see how long this takes. I think that's a great idea. Next yeah. time we will. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm such a hot, hot shot sewer. <laughs> but, um, so I actually made one for my friend Brian in the early 80s. I think that's what clinched the friendship. Just give him a quilt, huh? He said it was my quilting and my soup. Okay. Well. <laughs> but um, I really like to make them in red, white, and blue, and I decided to do another new red, white, and blue. Ha ha. Just like that? Wow. Just like that. Over a little conversation. We did pretty good, huh? Okay, dark is all on the top. All right. Just set the seam all in the dark and then just keep on pushing them. Uh, open the seams and press right in there. So we're using a cushioned mat uh, so that the seams just kind of sink right into the cushioned mat. Um, I, at home, I use a long pressing table and I can actually just have one whole, the whole strip laid out and didn't have to move them. That's when it's really fun. It's like aerobics, Lynn, how you can just kind of run along. How about I take this away? We just wouldn't like to press this mat, No, would we? definitely don't want to do that. And we do have um, the second block in, in beautiful oranges that we can just do exactly the same thing. Um, when you're doing modern, it's great to use gray with your bright colors, and then they just really stand out. And this one is just a, a simple geometric design that I really liked. I like to use white too, is good with your, with your modern. I, I am big with a white background. I love it. And so we have our little cutting gizmo. We're going to team here. <laughs> All right? Yep. This so I'm going to try not to move it while you press, but now you just take your cutting gizmo and just cut these. See, we could go into business making quilts. We're so good as a team. And the churn dash is the perfect one. <laughs> yes, it is. Up. It really is. All right. It really is. Okay, so just a couple more, and we're going to lay it all out. Okay. So you could do positive and negative, and at this point, you could do it either way. It's just in the last step. Okay, so I like to um, actually give it like an anchor right in the center. The four corners go like this. Okay, and then we just need to have the uh, rectangles go in between and... Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'll put this one over here. I'll put this one over here. Oh, I like that center fussy cut block. Just brightens it up. 
It brightens it up. This is so cheery. It is. I think that we should make a whole quilt out of this one. Sounds great.